maybe going um I'm gonna show you how to make a a jar to just shut somebody's fucking mouth up. Just you know, plain and simple. Now there's a few things that I do to shut someone up, and I, and like I told you before, I have worked with the pig's tongue, which is excellent if you want to shut somebody the fuck up. And I also have a a dry jar which dries out the mouth when people tend to gossip a lot and just talk a lot of shit just unnecessary shit they don't have no business talking so in today's jar um this jar is specifically for the person that doesn't know when to shut the fuck up as far as telling every single thing they see this could be for the nosy neighbor this could be for the bitch at the job that tells everyone's business. This could be for a super. This could be for your landlord. This could be for someone in your family that just runs their fucking... You, they just run their mouth so much so to the point where it's just... You, are, you become nervous when they see you doing anything because you don't know what they are going to say that they saw you doing. I mean, you can't do nothing around this person without them just talking shit. It's just, it just creates a lot of um, situations where you just, you, you just don't want to be around this person. You avoid them at, at all times because you, you feel like you want to hurt them because they talk so much shit. And it, it, you know, I don't think that people realize it when they just spread everyone's business. They don't realize it, you know, and when you become an adult you know you say you know what you know only kids do stuff like that on adult no adults are worse than the children the adults sometimes add on things to scenarios to make it seem like you know it's really happening but in their mind this is what they saw or or would like to see and it has never happened and for this particular situation this man talks so much that everyone around him they avoid him they avoid him he's very very sneaky act like he doesn't see you you know pretends he's doing something else if he sees you and then he's watching you what you're doing like he's just it's become a situation where he's like a s sneaky secret spy or something like he acts like he i mean i i don't really get it i don't really know it's just a situation where he has to just be quiet when you start working on this, you want to look for the clearest sign of him not even speaking to you at all. That's how fucking quiet you want his mouth to be. You want nothing. You don't want to hear nothing. You don't want to see, hey, how you doing? Nothing. Nothing. And when you have a person that talks a lot, you have to stop speaking to them. That's the only way. Now they're probably going to go spread. Oh, they stopped talking to me. I don't know what happened. And I didn't do nothing to her. And, you know, they'll, it'll just be a huge thing. You know, and, you know, when you gossip so much and you start talking to everyone's business, you will often find someone that lies a lot because their mouth just continues to run and run and run. So they'll spread stuff about you. They'll spread stuff about your family. But this is something that you're going to have to deal with now. If you're going to stop speaking to this person in full, you have to be prepared for them to start running your name through the mud. They, they're going to do it. Okay? And, and, and to avoid that, you're going to shut them the fuck up. Just plain and simple, shutting them to fuck up. Okay, so what I what I have done for my for my jar, this is this is the apple juice bottles. I love using these bottles, they're really good. So you know the um, Martinelli's apple juice. Um, you can you can buy those bottles and you can do your work in them. They're really good to seal things in. And you can freeze them as well. They work good, freeze, frozen. Okay, so what I have done uh, about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago when I got the information about what was happening and what was needed to be done. Uh, I told my girlfriend, I said, I'll, I'll take care of the situation. So two weeks ago, I bought uh, aloe vera. And what I did was I scraped everything out of it. Everything out of it. And what I did was I took the skin. I took the skin. And I also took, let me show you guys. You know, the brown, the brown paper towel kind of paper. Like it comes in a big roll. You could buy it. Or you can even use like the brown paper bags like from uh, paper towels from like McDonald's or like uh, Starbucks. 
that you can use that you want it you want something that's gonna absorb so what I did was hold on let me fix this camera okay so what I did was I put all of the bitterness in the jar right and then what I did was I took the brown paper and I put it in there everything that I wanted to happen in there in there has been soaking for two weeks then what I did was I took the skin the skin was still a bit sticky and I wrote out this skin has been frozen for like two weeks and within the two weeks frame nothing has really been going on just quiet he's just really been really really quiet so what I did with the skin was I took the skin and I placed the brown paper in there with the petition of what she wanted to happen, what she needed to happen. It was about two of them. So there's like four pieces of skin, but I put them in between, right? So I put it in there real hard, okay? I wanted to just see what was going to happen with him just being a little silent as we put him on the skin. Just to bitter up his mouth a bit, right? So I did that. I put that in, um, what do you call this paper? Uh... The cookie sheet paper, right? I put in the cookie sheet paper and then I put it in aluminum foil and I wrapped it in the freezer. It's been in the freezer now for two weeks, okay? He's been quiet, real quiet. But we can't trust him. We can't trust him. We're not going upon him just being real quiet for the past two weeks. We want him to stay quiet. So the bitter is in there. All of the aloe gel is in there. That's bitterness, right? But the bitterness would be for his mouth. So he says he talks so fucking much. And he loves to gossip. He gossips with a stranger. So the next thing you're going to do after you put your petition in there and you have it in there. You don't have to wait two weeks. This is just what I, I was just, you know, since since when I do um, spells and stuff like that, sometimes uh, I'll, I'll start working it in, you know, increments. So I'll work one week. And then I'll wait, and then I'll work another week, and then I'll just to, to you know, to let everything soak in little by little, you know, because I'm, I'm working on him. I don't want to, I don't need to rush and just do everything at once. I want to see each time, each step that I take, what is going to happen to him. So the next thing, you know, having this soaking in there for two weeks, 14 days, just about a little over, um, and, and the, um, the skin from the aloe. What I want to do now, because since we cannot trust him, we don't know what's going on. He may be quiet. Yes, the skin may have gotten to him, but he needs to be sealed up. His mouth needs to be quiet. It needs to stay quiet. It needs to just stay 100% where, like, shut. We want to seal it up, right? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this um, this jar, and then what you're going to do, you're going to add some chili peppers inside of it. The chili peppers are going to create the heat. So each and every time he wants to talk shit, that heat is going to start. A reasonable amount. And, and and I'm wearing gloves today because I have a powder that's really, really strong. And I don't want that shit on my hands because I know you guys see me touching everything. But today, mm -mm, I don't want that shit on my hands. Mm -mm, not today. Then, I'm going to add some barberry. Now, Barberry is to keep him back. She considers him an enemy because he just, he has created a lot of shit with this, with the, with the gossip that he talks about her and her family and just everyone around. Um, he, he creates a lot of shit. A lot of hurtful shit has happened, like the words and the gossip that he spreads about people and spreads to people about others. It is really nasty. It's some really nasty shit. Like, he'll see you getting out of your car. It could be, it could be your cousin. And he will go tell your husband, I saw your wife getting out the car with a man. Like, he's just really, 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 just a wicked man, period. He doesn't know who's who, what's what. You can leave at night to go take the garbage down. And he'll just probably see you taking the garbage down. And, you know, then he goes into his house. And then he'll see you coming in the morning. You know, and then he'll say, oh, you'll go tell your husband, I saw your wife, she left late last night, and then I saw her coming in the morning. Like, he's just really, really wicked, and I just feel like people like that sometimes, you give them a chance to see how much they're going to do to you, and you know, like, you, you want to give them, you want to be real reasonable when it comes to what you're going to do to certain people, because it's like, okay, I gave you a chance, and then you did it again, and now the third time, I do not feel sorry for you, because you have done it three times. Don't wait three times, don't wait three times, though. But most of the time, that's the time frame that people do wait. Then you're going to also add in, of course, you're going to add in some almond there. Now, for him, you want to add in some big pieces, okay? You want to add some big, 
pieces of alum in there. Because this bastard, he just doesn't learn. The alum is going to just stop the over. All of that in there is going to start to like create a little soupy mix. You know, and, and it's going to be hard for him to speak because you know what the aloe vera gel looks like. It's really, really, really sticky. So imagine someone throat feeling sticky and tight and, and just hot with heat. Just imagine all of that in someone's mouth and how that's going to feel. Now the powder. You need a real good kick ass powder. Okay. And, and don't get no fake shit. Make a good fucking powder. I mean, you need, listen, you need a good ass shut the fuck up powder. Okay. One so good that it makes you cough sometimes. Okay. That's how strong it is. You need a good ass powder. Without a good ass powder, you are, you're going to fuck the spell up. You, know, if you want a real good powder to shut his fucking mouth up. Okay. It has to be strong. It has to be strong. It cannot have no talcum powder in it. Okay. Straight. Listen, this, this powder has to be 100% genuine. It's a lot of people that make some good powder. Of course, myself. You don't need no colorful powder shit. You want some real... You want the herbs that will create someone to shut the fuck up. You want to use the powders too. And you want to blend it up really good. And you want to... When you create your powders... I always seal my powders. And then I'll use them like in a couple of months. That's how I do it. So I have a bunch of different powders that I'll use. And, you know... They'll have different dates on them because I need them to I need them to hold in and and just seal everything in and once everything is sealed in and I feel like they're really really powerful then you know that I'll use it now I'm gonna add in a little bit more stuff of course because I I just I want him to just feel a certain type of way as well I want him to not only shut the fuck up but I want him to be a little um, you know, confused as to, to what's happening and all of this to start happening to them. Because sometimes when things start happening to people, they don't really know how to react. They don't know how to behave. They're like, damn, you know, something is going on. We don't want him to know what is going on and why it's happening to him at all. So I want to add in the extra, just a little extra things in there. I'm just reminding him, you know, when all of this starts to occur, that he needs to keep his fucking mouth shut. You know, some people, they talk, they talk, they talk, they talk. They don't care who they hurt by saying it. And words can fuck up a lot of shit. That's just shut up jar. Okay? Really simple. Really, really simple. Okay? Give it a good shake. And now, don't put no oils in here, okay? Because oils don't freeze. You guys are aware of that, right? A lot of you keep telling me you're putting oils in your freezer jars and nothing in it. Listen, oil is not going to freeze. You see how nasty that looks? Just nice and nasty. Now, what, what, what is recommended for you to do within the next six weeks of working this jar, right? You're going to work this jar. You're going to work it. Well, I recommend you working it every week. You're working on a Saturday. And then what you're going to do when you work it every week... You're going to seal it off first before you work it. Because that's you need to seal your work. I recommend everyone seal their work. And um, those are just my bar stools that you guys hear. Let me just move this out the way. So seal your work. Seal that person in there. As you seal them in there, you're going to take a candle. Put some shut up oil on it. Okay? You can take a red candle. You can take a black if you want to go further. And you can always use white. White is universal for every single thing that you want to do. Okay? And as I'm sealing this, I'm sealing his words in here to bitterness, to his lies. May he never be able to tell the truth again. Because you see, he likes to talk other people's business. But a lot of people's business is the truth. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you go out there and tell other people's business. Everyone doesn't want their business out there. If that was the case, they would just, you know, spread it themselves. I want to seal him from telling the truth again. And I also want to seal him from ever telling a lie. I want these peppers to burn his throat each and every time that he opens his mouth to speak on someone and spread a lie of hurt and deceit and causing trouble and misfortune upon others. I want him to feel it. I want him to stay away. I want him to be barred far away, never to be able to come close with his mouth of lies, filth. I want him to, I want his mouth to also be soured. I want his mouth to pucker up. Like a piece of lemon each and every time that he tries to spread a lie. You see, the alum, it makes your mouth, you know, get real like you like you ate a piece of lemon. 
So your mouth, you know, it starts feeling real dry, 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 dry. And that combined with the aloe vera juice is a great combination. I want each and every single word that he spreads or tries to spread to bitter his mouth and his throat and dry it out, tighten it up, sealing it off with the hotness and the heat of the chili peppers so he may never ever tell a lie again. And every time he tries, I want him to be confused and bewildered as to what's happening. May he have no type of idea as to what's happening. Seal him up in there. When you work this jar, you can work it with the red candles and the shut the fuck up oil. Well, I mean, mine's just called shut the fuck up. You can work your regular shut the fuck up or shut up oil, whatever you have. And work it with the candle directly on top. You, you want, in this particular situation, you want to see the candle dripping all over the place you want to see things going crazy for this particular situation which would be a good sign of this okay you want you want wax to cover this jar because you need his mouth covered you, you need these lies to be covered you want all the ill intent and everything that he's trying to do to be covered and at the end within the six weeks time frame of course this is going to go into the freezer because I want to freeze him in there. I want to freeze him in silence. I want him to never ever be able to do this again. And never even think of it. This, he will never even consider spreading another fucking lie. When your throat starts to seal up. And your mouth starts to feel as if you can't even make any more saliva in your mouth. That becomes a problem. His mouth is going to be so, so fucking dry. And that is what you want. You want the dryness. Alright, so. Sealing this up. I mean, that's just a simple thing you're going to do. And you just work it. You can shake it up if you want to. Every time you curse at it. I didn't really feel the need to fill it up all the way because I am going to shake it. She'll come pick this up from me in a couple of days. So. And then she'll do the rest of the shaking. She'll take care of the rest. And this is this is very simple and, you know, straightforward. You, you get some sage and you want to um, clear the room after you, you know, you're done and everything. You want to wear some gloves as well. I'm gonna wear some gloves also because like I told you that powder is really strong and, and a lot of my oils uh, do irritate my skin. Light your sage up, clear the area. Um, I prefer doing my sage like this. I buy the big big bag and I just pick out a nice branch and I'll clear the area in the room and I'll pray over it and you know cleanse it out. It, it is a little bit late. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning but I, I really needed to get this done. So she's just going to take over and do everything to it. I'll be a little bit busy this weekend. So I won't be tending to any spells or services. I didn't schedule anything to be done this weekend. So I can have the whole week for myself. And you know, you know, take some time. Because you know, when you do a lot of work and stuff like that. You need to, you know, cleanse yourself and clear your mind. And, and you need some freedom and peace as well. A lot of spiritual workers, I know they work heavy throughout the year. I don't recommend doing that. I recommend taking... You know, some time off for yourself and clearing your mind and, you know, getting some new energy back into yourself. And this will help you to be more powerful. And spiritually, you will be able to move better through the different realms of magic as you work it for your clients and the different spells that you do. So you want to make sure you're level-headed and cleared and everything is well. And this is, uh, you know, a shut the fuck up jar. You know, it looks pretty nasty and disgusting and... Um, I, I really hope that he just shuts the fuck up and, and just leaves people alone. I honestly do because it's just a situation where sometimes you work on someone and he really didn't want to work on them. But, you know, he asked for it in this situation. She gave him more than enough chances to, to honestly be quiet. I
I always knew he talked a lot. I just, I just, you know, read it on him. I just seen it on him, and I avoided him always. He always used to ask me, you know, why don't you say hi? And I don't, I don't do that. I don't want to, you know, when I go visit friends and family, and there's certain people around, and there's something about you, I just, you know, I keep distance from you because I don't really want nothing to do with that. I don't want that energy anywhere close to me or anything like that. So, um, I hope you guys really enjoy this quick video. I know a lot of you wanted a shut the fuck up jar. My, my dry jars, I do sell those at my shop. So that's the secret recipe that I'm not going to share with you guys, but you can get that at my Etsy shop. And, um, other than that, I hope you just, you know, shut the fuck up a lot of people and, you know, get things moving, clear their mouths out of the lies and the gossip and do what you got to do. So like, subscribe, and stay blessed.